Plymouth Rock a solid, steadfast reminder of the birth of the nation, yet targeted, vandalized. I did see it, and um, it looked like a lead-based paint or an oil base, I'd say. Um, white paint, and it was pretty well covered. It's all over the ground. So it splattered all over the rock. It's, it seemed to be about a gallon. It's one of our treasures, but to the country, this is basically where, you know, the beginning of the story, you know, part of it anyway. And, you know, it's hurtful. And I, I don't know if it was done as a prank or if it was, it was a hate thing. And we have a couple of detectives working on it right now, looking at some video footage and trying to figure out who was in the area. Police are confident with leads, just like when Plymouth Rock was vandalized February 17th and a juvenile was charged. Surveillance cameras around the Mayflower 2 captured much of the activity along Plymouth Harbor. But now there's a new plan. I'm hoping that the state will uh, put uh, surveillance here in this location also. The Labor Day holiday weekend solid with crowds taking in Plymouth's history. It's just such a shame that people are so angry at things that happened in the past that they're willing to destroy the present and the future. It's aggravating. The traditional pilgrimage unblemished for most. We were shocked to see it cleaned up so fast so it was nice yeah. for the kids to actually see it not vandalized. <laughs> And last February, when the vandal struck a 17-year-old Plymouth resident, police say that the red graffiti was on other monuments around town. After a check this morning, they found out the rock is the only thing to face this time. Live in Plymouth, Rondella Richardson, WCBB News Center 5.